Good day, gentle tubers. Beautiful day for a ride. Before I head out today, I thought of making this one short video about an addition to your bike that may end up saving your life. And that is this guy right here, the ST2 Smart Brake Module. It's uh, out of Slovenia. So basically, what it addresses is engine braking. Um, my bike in particular has um, a pretty aggressive engine braking when you roll off the throttle. That is to say, it slows down from the engine and I hardly ever have to use the brakes. Um, so what that means is when I'm scooting through the twisties or anywhere, or slowing down to a stoplight, if I'm just gearing down, then the brake light is not going to flash. There's going to be no indication to the car behind me that um, I'm stopping and I might get rear-ended. So, um, so this way, when I, I gear down, I'm slowing down, I'm not applying the brake, the light's going to flash. And what I have noticed is that drivers are actually keeping better distance from me. Um, placebo effect? No, I don't think so. I think it's a real thing. Um, that light flashes and they, they tend to back off. So that's fantastic. Of course, if you've been to any sort of riding school, they're going to recommend that you tap your rear brake to activate the light. The brake module flashes your brake light when speed decreases due to engine braking or downshift. So let's pull the seat off and um, show you what it looks like installed. All right. So here's the beast of burden, just this little black box. And uh, well, I experimented with a couple of ways for it to hold its place in there. I found just a bit of foam and some zip ties that'll actually stay in place. Um, you want to make sure it's level when you're sitting on the bike. If it tips forward, we do it this way. If it tips forward, you're going to increase the sensitivity. If it tips backward, you're going to decrease the sensitivity. So if you find it's flashing all the time or not at all, you can adjust its position. Anyway, you run the wire into your tail light and this is a bit of a rat's nest to look at on camera so but you can see the three little connectors here those just clip on and um, the instructions that come with the unit the wiring schematics are incorrect for a Honda so I'll put the sketch on the screen and you can see if you've got a CRF 300L um, which wires that you need to connect those up to. Um, and that's pretty much it for the install. Pretty easy. Now you'll know your brake module is working when you turn the ignition to on. You'll see the brake light flash once. Looking at those clouds, nah. Hopefully the rain holds off.